Hi, my name is Maria Flynn and I'm the principal of the Design Academy. At the Design Academy, we pride ourselves on helping people to become the best designer that they can possibly be. I made this short video to explain how we do that. Let's start by asking, how do you become an excellent designer? First, let's take a quick look at a favourite quote of mine. It's from Aristotle and he says, We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. This is the underlying principle that applies to becoming excellent at anything. You will not achieve excellence by just ticking the boxes. Let me explain what I mean by that. In the past, academic awards were usually based on learning hours, i.e. the amount of time spent studying, or curriculum content, i.e. what was actually being taught on a course or the content that was covered. More recently, qualifications are becoming based on learning outcomes, that is what somebody will actually learn when they are on a course. This puts a focus on the actual learning rather than the content, and it's a great improvement, but there's still a big problem here. As a learner, you'll usually be required to demonstrate that you've learned particular skills or knowledge by completing a relevant task. Most courses are structured so that once you tick the box against a particular learning outcome, you move on to the next one. There's a couple of problems here. Firstly, if you're like most people, you will understandably be afraid to take chances because it will affect your grades. Secondly, you may learn the fundamental skills and knowledge that are identified, but this doesn't really give you the opportunity to practice and improve. And that's how you become excellent at anything. Overall, it may tick all of the boxes, but is it good enough? For the most part, sadly, no. But what's the solution? Time for another of my favourite quotes, this time from Benjamin Franklin. He says, tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. Learning is an active process. However amazing an instructor is, we don't learn by simply listening to them or watching them. Real learning and understanding takes place when we are actively involved. Additionally, learning happens in stages. It's not a one-time event. It's highly unlikely that you're going to be excellent the first time you do something. It's more likely that you progress as you repeat certain skills or knowledge, getting better each time you apply them. Therefore, to develop real skill in any area, you need to have multiple opportunities to explore and work with knowledge so that you can apply it in your own way and really become comfortable with this. What's more, you need to be able to ask questions and take the time to learn without fear of failing or losing grades. In order to offer academically accredited qualifications, colleges and training centres are only required to demonstrate that you have met a learning outcome once. Most of them will get you to demonstrate your understanding in an assignment or a project, then they'll tick that box and move on to the next one. At the Design Academy, our courses are structured differently. So how exactly? Well, the main reason that we're able to help you learn, practice and perfect skills is because we use assignments as an actual learning tool. At the end of each lesson, you'll have the opportunity to put into practice what you've just learned. Ultimately, we all learn by doing, so these assignments are where a lot of your real learning takes place. However, you need to be able to learn without the fear of losing marks. That way, the work that you do will contribute significantly to your ongoing development. Because our assignments are learning assignments, you can make mistakes. It's one of the best ways we learn, by the way, without worrying about how this is going to affect your overall grades. That's because we also have separate graded assessments. Once you've successfully achieved the fundamental skills, you'll be asked to complete a number of design projects. These will be given to you at key points throughout the course and they will be graded. The grading system is explained in detail when you begin a course with us, so don't worry about that now. This gives you the opportunity to demonstrate your ability once you have really learned and become comfortable with the relevant skills or knowledge. You may think it sounds like a lot of work. However, the graded assignments are based on the assignments that you have already completed and we've constructed them really carefully so that you don't have a double workload. This means you can take advantage of work that you've already done, however you get to incorporate any amendments or improvements before submitting work that will ultimately impact your final grades. It's double workload for us, actually it's way more than that, but we've made every attempt to keep your workload to a minimum wherever possible. This is one of the unique nuances of our course structure and one that will enable you to achieve the high standards that are typical of our graduates. Before I wrap up, I also want to ask one more question. What's the first and most important rule of design? Well, the first rule is that there are no rules, only guidelines. In fact, the people who go out there and break all the rules are the trailblazers and the ones that create new design styles for us. 
That's why it's really important to find a course that will enable you to grow and develop your own creativity. It's important that you learn the technical skills and knowledge to the high standards required. And it's equally important for you to tap into your own natural creative flair. And you do have it, otherwise you wouldn't be looking for this course in the first place. I would always advise you, don't look for a course that will teach you. Find a learning partner that will enable you to learn. And I'm going to finish off with my fa another of my favourite quotes from Albert Einstein. He says, I never teach my pupils. I only provide the conditions in which they learn. And we hold that principle here at the Design Academy. If you want to become a designer through online learning, I know that you won't find a better alternative than the Design Academy. So I do hope that you'll consider using us as your learning partners.